Beautiful Painting Live. I appreciate you guys who voted for what type of live I should do next. So I'm going to be painting a little blue jay. I have my little painting. I'm sorry, my little image printed out. I have it up here on my little board. But a little picture of a blue jay. I figured I would paint that because lately while I have been working up here in my craft room, um, during the week, I have a little blue jay that comes and visits on the little tree outside of my window. So I thought that that would be really sweet just to try to paint that. So I'm just going to give this a go. So I'm just going to use my Waverly chalk paints here for my colors because these are like the closest. I'll turn down this music a little bit. Because these are like the closest colors that I have to it. And I just have one of these tiny little canvases. So I have a bunch of canvases um, that I need to use. And this was just a cute little tiny one. I figured that would be adorable for our little Blue Jay. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I don't have a whole lot of times that I can stream right now. It's just maybe 45 minutes. So I'm just going to do a quick little stream with you guys. And then I plan to do some more this week with y'all of more paintings. But I did just want to hop on really quick and just do one with you guys and for anybody that wants to watch it on the replay. So I'm going to start by just painting his base. I'm just going to do like a base color for him. It would be better to use my um, acrylic paints that I have. But like I said, I'm working on limited time right now. So I just grabbed my Waverly Chalk paints to paint with just because I had some really pretty blues for that. So I've never painted a blue jay before, but I do like painting birds, so I figured this would be a nice one to try. I do want to try this with watercolor as well, So I've really gotten into watercolor um, in the last year or so, and I'm trying to progress and get better with that. So I'll probably do another one in just watercolor. I may do that one as a video and just post that as a short later for you guys and let you see that. But for right now, we're going to do a little tiny canvas painting, and I might end up adding a background to this afterwards, but I just wanted to get him painted. And y'all just let me know if the um, video quality is bad. I'm trying this on my it's actually my son's tablet, so the tablet is um, not very new. I don't know how exactly the quality may be because of just like how old the tablet is. But um, I'm trying it on the tablet, so that way it'll free up my phone to just have like music playing in the background for you guys. It's not just completely silent. And I'm trying to find new ways that I could stream, so I'm not just always using the phone because I just I don't really like streaming on my phone, honestly. So I'm just getting a solid blue going first, and I'm adding a little bit of water to it just to make it spread a little further. But I'm gonna go back and add in my whites. And my dog is having a bad dream. Zeus, hey, it's okay. I need to get my blacks though. I see I do need a little black for this. Let's just do the darker bits right here because he has a little bit of darkness on his chest. So I'm the type of artist that needs like a visual, like I can't just paint right off the top of my head unless it's something that I'm like really, I don't know, just an image that comes in my head. I think I've done that like a couple of times, but typically I do need something to look at. I do need something to look at while I'm painting. If not, I'll just kind of lose my way on all of the proportions of everything. So it's better if I just look at an image while I'm drawing or painting, typically. So I am going to get, I'm gonna start smoothing in some white to get him more looking like he's supposed to look.
And I haven't painted with acrylics in a while either, so I gotta get back in the hang of this. I got used to painting with watercolor, and I really enjoy painting with watercolor. That's actually more of my favorite now. If y'all rather see like a watercolor lab, we can do that next. That's no problem. So just let me know if you'd rather see that. Or if you want to see like a sign, like I used to do artwork on wood. I started off painting on canvases, but as you know, I started dabbling into um, making wood signs. I started painting on wood signs. So that's where that started. And then I just started um, trying the watercolor next. I'm, I just like trying new mediums and challenging myself a little bit with something new. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to achieve this so quickly. Cause I have to go around three to go pick up my boys from school. So I'm trying to quickly create this little art image. hand is shaking terribly today. My nerves are a little bad today. A little bit of things that haven't been going too well. So let me get my black. So we have a shape down at least so far. If I'm not, not able to finish this in time, we can revisit this later. But I'm gonna try to at least get the majority painted. So now we can start creating this deep color right here. I'm gonna add in some dark blue to it. But I really enjoy painting birds. So I want to do like every bird there is. I want to try every bird. I want to um, do that mostly with watercolor though, because I just like turning those into digital files um, to put on my Etsy shop, you know, that way I can get more use out of them that way than to just, you know, be one little painting, which I know I can turn these into digital files as well, but I just haven't tried that honestly yet. I just started playing around with um, Photoshop. I apologize if that music is too loud. You guys let me know. But I just started playing out around with Photoshop so I could start creating more digital files with like all sorts of things. So we will see. If this turns out decent enough, I may try to attempt turning this into a digital file. I need to get his face right, actually. I don't have his face quite right. I need to add more white to it. So I'm going to try to blend this out. I don't know if my hand's quite in the way. You guys aren't really able to see this, are you? I should have checked that in the very beginning. So let me move this close. That's really close but we'll do like this so then you guys can really see sorry if my hand's still blocking it though this is something I've got to get the hang of we're just going to start working on blending in his face
This was a spontaneous live. I did not announce this at all. So I apologize if you didn't um, catch it. If you're watching on the replay, I do appreciate you. Just wanted to... I've been really wanting to live stream again. I just haven't had a chance. So I just wanted to hop on real quick while I had the chance. Got to work on getting my camera angle correct and set up so that I'm not blocking it because I am right handed so it's hard for me to paint like this without blocking the camera but um, if I can get it set up to where it's on the left side then maybe it won't be such a big deal. Make this a little more blue than it is black. Shoot. I'm going to end up making his chest a little bit too big, so I keep going out with it. So now I just got to blend this back in. Let's do some more white. And correct this bit of right here. This is where we are so far. Let's see if I can adjust this. 
might just switch the camera to the other side. That'd probably be the better idea, so let's switch that around. way. Lighten is not as good this way though. That's the only problem. But at least then, sorry that's probably really loud. I'm not going to drag that. But at least then you can see without my hand lock. Let's try to cut that light on. Maybe that'll help. Paintbrush. Okay, so So I'm just trying to get my blending right going for the background of his face and then I can start adding the minor details to it. My colors are not quite right so I'm going to keep blending it until I get it right. So I don't want him that dark. We need him kind of light on the face.
I think we finally got that color right for his actual body. Now I just have to blend in all of these colors. So we have his back, I think, the color that I want it to be. I'm just going to dab right around here, around the dark in color. I'm just going to add in some texture. All right, I think I'm going to try to do his beak now. I'm going to 
here. This camera is right by my face, so <laughs> I don't want to be too loud for you guys. This is where my hand not being steady today is going to get me. Y'all see how much my hand is shaking? It's crazy. I've always struggled with this though. This is nothing new for me. Just learn how to adapt to it and just paint at a weird crazy angle if I have to just to get the job done. So we have this little beak. Start adding a little bit of detail to him because I think I have his base down pretty good. So I'm going to go in and add some dark around his face. I might go ahead and do his eye actually. Just so I'm going to get that defined of where I want it. So we're going to put this about right here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of detail with a tinier brush. Shoot, that's going to be way too wet. This lost his eye, so I'm gonna pre paint that. But I'm trying to get this detail first. You can always add that. That's what I like about using acrylics, is you can just keep retouching and correcting it as you go, and it blends. I'm just trying to blur this in a little bit so it's not so harsh on the lines because I want it to look soft like his feathers. Try to give it a little bit of texture too.
let's try to recreate his eyeball again. I hope I have this position in the right spot. Mm. See, I'm going to add in some lighter colors to give his uh, more of a dimensional look. So it doesn't look so flat. And I just need to add a little bit of white in it so that it looks like it's shining. Uh, not quite. Shoot, way too much. Just gonna blend that out. Now that I've fixed that mistake, I'm going to go back in. And attempt to add my white. There we go. Now it's not so dramatic. All right, so I just have a little piece of board over here that I'm using for my paints. It's just a scrap piece of wood. It's usually what I use anyway. I'm just going to attempt to go in and add in some detail. Just want to darken under his wing a little bit. thing about this paint that I'm using is not very good at like blending or spreading it just dries so fast
So this is where we are so far. I don't know how good you guys can see this. So far, so good. Start defining his legs. So I want his legs to come down about right here. blue right again oops I need to add a little bit for his other leg though. I did not do that properly. Let's go into our white. Do I need to make it a little bit darker because it's behind this one? It's probably too dark actually. He's perched on a little tree branch, so I need to add that in here so it'll look right, because right now it's not going to look right.
All right, it is three o'clock, so I need to wrap this up. All right, well that is about as far as I'm going to be able to go with this today. I may get back on um, later on if I'm able to, to finish this up with you guys. Like later this evening, I'm not too sure, but I will definitely do more of this this week. More videos like this, we'll do more lives like this, so... Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching and painting with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments um, what you guys think and what I can do to improve future lives. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end this now, and I will see you guys later. Thank you.